Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Memorial Day weekend, assholeconsulting.com. How are you kids doing? It's a three-day weekend. You're supposed to not work. You're supposed to be a real American. Lie around and complain why your debts aren't paid off. It's Trump. It's Bush. That's not the other guy in between because there was no other guy in between to blame. Because he was half black and he'd be racist of me to claim that my stupid mistakes was the president's fault unless it's a Republican. Oh, at assholeconsulting.com. Repeat customer, hey Aaron, uh, repeat customer here from Scotland. A uh, simple request this time. I'd like a clarity test on Paul Weston, chairman of the Libertin, uh, Liberty uh, Great Britain Party. Not sure if his background is respectable and whether he has had a real career prior to politics. Regardless, I find his videos hilarious because he has the balls to call out the left who has done some serious damage here in the UK. I'll send you a link to his YouTube and his third party page. Anyway, so I did, I have looked him up. Let's look him up here. I had another guy request that, but he never paid, but you did. And so you get it. Paul Weston, Weston. Not Paul Walker, Paul Weston. Now I looked this guy up and I think it was impossible to find out if he came from money. So at best we're going to be able to do three questions out of four. You say, what are these four questions and what the fuck is the Clary, podcast, uh, the Clary test? The Clary test is a four question test. This brilliant economist who basically made the largest advancement in political science with just a simple thought because political science is not a real science nor study nor discipline and simple everyday observations made by normal people who have an IQ above 80, which is where the majority of political science majors are. Uh, he, which is me, said, hey, you know what? I noticed politicians that I trust don't come from money. They didn't major in stupid shit. They've worked in the private sector of the real world, and they've continued to do so, or they're not doing some kind of nonprofit government, you know, career politician parasitic bullshit. And so I applied those three que uh, four questions. And I also found out it's a great way to determine whether or not you could trust somebody or whether you'd like to have a beer with them. So people now and then have me. They call me to professionally administer the Clary Test. All right, Paul Martin Lawrence Weston, born 1965, British far-right politician. I don't even know if he's far-right. Uh, Joined UKIP in 2010. In 2011, he left UKIP. Now f joined the now-defunct British Freedom Party to form the British National Party for Liberty GT. He was a candidate in South England, and he came in last with 0.4% of the votes. He's married to an immigrant in Romania. He was the president of the English branch of the International Free Press Society, founded in that. All right. Um, particularly neo-Marxist variation that neo-Marxist, uh, along with Hungarian partisan Varese, libertarian GT. Now, where did I find him? You know what? I think I found him on the bio of his webpage. Paul Weston. Paul Weston, Paul Weston. Bear with me, guys. He's got a blog up. Blogs he follows. Followers. Where's the bio? Where's the bio? God dang it. Let's do Britain. Liberty GT. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're finding it, guys. Just bear with me. About us, Paul Weston. Here it is. Uh, what can only be termed after what can only be termed an academic disaster. I was politely asked to leave my school, after which I became a deep sea diving specialist in subsea pipeline welding. So he has a real job. He also probably wouldn't take that job if he had money, so I'm going to assume he did not. In my mid-twenties, I trained as a pilot and utilized his qualification in Africa. After a number of scrapes, I moved to Prague shortly after the fall of communism. Started writing articles about the left-wing destruction of traditional Britain in 2007. Hard to tell. Now, I've even emailed this guy if he could provide a little bit more, and I never heard back from him. So let's, let's speculate a little bit. Um... 
he it's it's been a decade now that he's been political and he's never won um uh, anything uh so he's been I, I gotta say he gets a point for what it, what is he doing now he's just doing politics now if he was again we don't know and he could come on the show and tell us anytime but if he was like working a daytime job oh yeah I'm still flying planes and uh, this is something on the side I do but this, if this is his full-time job and he's been doing this since 2007 and that's his career he gets a point because he hasn't really done anything of real value or work I know I know Politically, ethically, maybe he is, but uh, this is not something like, hey, flip my burgers or go repair my car. All right, so he's living off of donations and stuff like that. Does he have private sector experience? Yes. Subsea, pipeline, welding, that's trades. Does he come from rich parents? I'm going to assume not, um, but this this career of pipeline, see, this is going back to, what, the 70s? And being a pilot? Well, wait a minute. That, that leads me, again, my, my suspicions. My detective work, like if you come from money, you can afford to kind of have like these two sort of careers and then that spreads over the course of two decades. Not having money, I'll tell you exactly what I've done. Like, yeah, I was an analyst and I was an intern and I was a security guard. Like I can tell you probably with to the month what I was doing. So I'm going to assume he probably does come from some money. So he's not doing anything now. Um, he does have private sector experience. He does come from some money. And I don't think he has a degree, uh, which is good, because then you don't get a point. Uh, uh, no degree is better than a worthless degree, which is one of the four questions. So he didn't major in stupid shit. Again, there's very little about uh, Paul out there on the internet. So he gets a two, but the actual score, until we find out more information, could be as high as a four. It could be low as, as I'd say, a one. Um, but we'll, we don't know. We don't know. But right now he stands at a two. And so I, um, I, would I like to have a, yeah, I'd like to have a beer with him. The, the link to the speech he gave in Copenhagen was great. It was funny. He's basically talking about uh, Muslim Im immigration and terrorism. And, of course, the Communist Party and the leftists are having a counter-protest. And they're all yelling boo. You can barely hear it on his audio because his audio is fine, but you can't pick it up that far away. So you just barely hear these boos. He's like... Well, let's hear some booing for female genital mutilation. And then, like, his crowd roars and you don't hear nothing from the fucking communists. Like, let's hear a good cheer for that. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm going to die in 35 years. Anyway, that's it. You guys got questions, go to assholeconsulting.com. You guys got, um, you need wisdom, go to my blog. Catholic, uh, read my books, Amazon.com. So I, I'm only, I've only been up an hour and a half. That's noon. And then what else? Then we got the Clary Podcast. You can find that on the interwebs. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.